Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. Today, January 29th, uh, four years ago, in 2017, a gunman uh, entered one of the mosques of Quebec and shot down the people who were uh, praying there, killing six people and injuring many. Four years later, here in Canada, uh, the Prime Minister, Justin Trudeau, has turned or has declared this day into a day to remember the shooting that happened uh, at the mosque. This is a very good initiative. And it is not a good initiative because it is merely symbolic, but it is because it is very needed. The issue with such shootings, which have been on the rise, uh, Quebec is not the only city in the world that had uh, such shootings and such uh, aggression against mosques. As a matter of fact, many cities in Canada and many more cities in the world have experienced that, uh, that aggression, even... Uh, very close to home in, in Vancouver, this has happened. Um, in other cities that are close to us in BC as well, this has happened where people come into the mosque uh, or go around the mosque and they start destroying the property. And people might see that as just mere vandal vandalism, uh, but this issue is a bit deeper than uh, simple vand vandalism or even just simple uh, racism. The issue of the rhetoric that's out there that is becoming increasingly acceptable, uh, legally acceptable to, to say and to propagate, that is giving people the chance, some people a chance to open the doors of hate and open the doors of racism and open the doors of discrimination. And not just these doors in opening it in their heads and in their thoughts, but even crossing the chasm into an action, into doing some physical action, acting upon uh, that hate. And once that door opens, it is very difficult to close it. We don't need to look very far uh, in history, even in the North American history, or in the European history, or even in the world history, to know that reaching the point of accepting diversity and accepting um, pluralism in society was not easy, and it, and that didn't happen very far in history. That is something that is very recent. So we're still struggling with trying to maintain that value of diversity, that value of pluralism in society. And after hundreds of years of struggle in globally, in various countries and in various nations, finally society has arrived to the conclusion that the value of diversity and the value of pluralism is something that is essential. It is not something that is luxurious, but it is something that is essential for society to survive and thrive. It's not something that is um, going to be an extra value whenever we have time, we're going to address it. No, society has determined through experience as well as through intellectual effort that diversity and pluralism is something that is needed, that is a pillar in modern society. And when we see that various governments, including some governments in some provinces in Canada, for people that run for office, using Islam as a, as a stool to basically jump on, as a step to raise themselves in the election, the impact of that is not just mere election. The impact of that is stirring up and confirming and affirming some really deep and very short-sighted and very aggressive thoughts and expectations that some people have in their heads. It is, some, it is basically justifying these thoughts instead of working them out and fighting them. So in this very day that is considered a sad day for everyone, not just for the Muslims, for everyone, where freedom of faith and freedom of thought has been or had been physically transgressed upon in our society, in the Canadian society, in the North American society, in our current world, 
society, this is something to be remembered and this is something to be kept in mind. And standing still and not speaking up is not enough. When something wrong that happens in front of one of us, in front of our eyes, if we don't speak up against it immediately, it festers and it gets justified in the aggressor's head. It gets reaffirmed in the aggressor's head. And that is a problem. And the Prophet, peace be upon him, the Prophet of Islam, Muhammad, peace be upon him, he emphasized this very much. He emphasized the idea of what is known as al amr bil-ma'ruf wa nahi al munkar to enjoin in doing good and to push back on evil, whatever that evil is, whether it is verbal or physical or intellectual or whatever it is, it needs to be pushed back upon. And it needs to be pushed back upon, upon and immediately because if evil is not stopped immediately, it will grow. And what we're facing in today's society, I mean, we're lucky right now in Canada that we have a federal government that is accepting of everybody. But this can change. This can change at some point in, wh in which or during which we will get some people that will attempt to run for office and they will use hate and they will use division and they will use discrimination. As a matter of fact, some of the people that are running for office or that have run in for office against the current government, they have already done that. And they have already stirred up quite a bit of trouble. And as a matter of fact, they've used this hate speech and this, this, this discrimination in order to step up their game and rise up in the election. And for everyone who is my generation or older or younger, it is important to keep what I'm saying in mind because things can change in a night. Things can change very quickly, in an instant. It is not a surprise at some point to see things shifted 180 degrees. We see that in other countries, very close countries to, to us. I hope this is helpful and we ask God to forgive and to encompass uh, within his mercy those people that were killed uh, at the Quebec shooting in 2017. And we ask everyone to do their part. Thank you very much, and then we'll see you in the next episode.